What's going on guys? Back again, a little fishing hack. That's right. You know, we've done a couple of these. You guys loved them, a lot of response out of them. So thank you so much for all the support. By the way, these are hacks that I really don't want to tell you, but I'm telling you because I love you. I love every one of y'all and thank you for the support. And, you know, we've done lipless crankbaits. We've done how to turn a Carolina rig into a Texas rig in just a matter of a second or two. We've done lots of different hacks. And this one is all about swim baits, right? How to make regular swim baits line throughs, right? Spur of the moment line throughs. And here's why. Spur uh, swim baits, first of all, are this time of the year are super important on catching fish. When these fish start moving up in the shallows to get ready to spawn, or especially when they are spawning, swim baits, like this is a saucy swimmer, a Guggenbait saucy swimmer. This is one of the Lunker Hunts, little deals. This is a regular hollow belly right here, another one. Uh, all these swim baits work great during the spawn because you can target fish and find those spawners. I remember one time at, at Lake Norman, uh, it was the spawn, it was April, and I couldn't see the fish. I couldn't see the fish, but I would take a swim bait similar to this and slow roll it really slow beside the dock pylons. And I would watch these fish come up out of the depths and, you know, six, seven feet down. Couldn't see the bottom. Watch them come up and bite the back of it. How many times you guys have you seen, you know, that fish come up and just nut, nip the back of it? You know what I mean? Just kind of push it. That's a sign that those fish are spawning. And it's really, really hard to catch those fish because they don't really eat the bait. They just kind of grab the back of it or bite the bottom of the belly of the swim bait and, and dart off. So the line through, and I'm gonna show you how to rig this up on the fly, is a great way to catch those fish. And when they bite it, it's game over. It's game over. So first of all, get some of your favorite swim baits. Second, get a couple straws. These are little bar straws that you can pick up anywhere. Get a pair of scissors and let me show you what's in the deck drawer here, okay? this little box of goodies. Now, I bought some deals online, and I don't really know much about them. They're called Fat Tube Fishing Tackle, and they, they're for Osprey and other line through swim baits. So these are basically the replacement brass inserts for your existing line throughs. But I decided to try them on these style baits, okay? And so that's really cool. Now, these are not sponsors of mine by any means. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to rig it up, the cheap version as well. But this is a pretty cool little deal. They come in lots of different sizes. This, these right here are quarter ounce. They have them all the way down to like a, I believe, an eighth ounce. And they even have right here plastic ones that are basically no weight at all, which are going to allow uh, the bait to basically ride basically on the surface, which is kind of like a little wake bait. So I have these rigged up and then I have my straws. So first, let me show you the way that I rigged it up with these inserts, okay? All right, let's pull out an insert right here. Let's close this up for a second. We're gonna take this little brass line through insert. Again, these work on your traditional uh, line through swim baits, but they work great on the Saucy Swimmer and, and these other ones here. So basically, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rig it right there in the middle. I'm gonna push this right in, dead center, go straight right there. Kind of, I like to angle it towards the belly just slightly because that's where you're going to come out obviously. Okay, I push that in. I'm going to push down on that, kind of clear that right there. There we go. Oh, watch this. I, I love this part. Oh, I love that part. Oh, yeah. I don't know why that's kind of creepy, but anyways, whatever. So that's basically all I'm going to do right there. Then I'm going to take this rod and let me let me also say about rods and reels. You know, for swim bait fishing for me, um, I like 17, 15 to 17 pound line on this style swim bait or this size swim bait, uh, 20 occasionally. And I like a longer rod, you know, a 7.3. This, this is a Pro Series by favorite. This is actually a 7.6 here, so this is going to be a little bit for, for my bigger swim baits. And uh, fluorocarbon is important. You know, the fluorocarbon for me allows that bait to get down. It allows it to uh, get down in the water column and I can feel those fish bite and I can feel that little thump and I can reel into them and, and, and get them. So I like the 17 pound P-line, tactical, tactical guys. So listen, listen right here, all we're gonna do, we'll take the Saucy Swimmer, thread that in. Now, because it's not totally sticking out, you gotta get it there. Okay, look, look at that, bam. How about that, fellas? Now, all you need now is a treble hook, okay? I'm gonna tie that on, okay? Cut off the excess. Now here is the magic, right? Because normally with these saucy swimmers, you're going to rig it 
either weedless, like on a weedless swim bait hook, or you're going to rig it up on a jig head of some sort. So now that line through goes through. Check that out, guys. Look at that thing, that treble hook right there in the bottom. I mean, you talk about juicy, you talk about awesome. This thing right here catches them, guys. And here's why it's so important. So as this thing swims through the water column, very slow, and again, you can do different weights, right? This is a smaller weight. I like the smaller ones when I'm looking for the fish on beds or trying to pull them up off the bottom. You don't want a bait that's gonna fly through there real fast. A lot of times when fish are on beds, they're not gonna just chase it down real far. Something that kind of sticks around in that little strike zone a little bit longer uh, is better to draw those fish up. So I like a lighter uh, insert on this style. But when those fish come up, guys, look, they come up behind it and they nip at it. They get that treble hook. But guess what happens when I pull? Treble hook stays in the fish, line through, slides up, fish jumps. You're just not gonna lose the fish because this little lightweight, sharp treble hook is stuck in the fish and this is sliding up and down your line and you're good to go. And so it's a, it's a really, really cool system and all you do when you're done is just rig it back up. I like to poke it right there on the bottom. You don't have to, you can dangle it down, but basically that's the rig. Now a couple other modifications you can do is you can go bigger or smaller with your treble hook and that's gonna add a little bit of weight as well. You can add a split ring if you would like to and that's gonna add a little bit of weight. So depending on the size of the treble hook, um, it's going to add a little weight, make the bait go higher in the water column or a little bit lower uh, if you didn't want to adjust it. So that's, that's the out of the box way, right? I can buy these little inserts and I can do it. Now let me show you how I can rig it up without having to buy these inserts. So I'm on the water. I'm like, you know what? I need to make a line through real quick. Let me show you how this works. All right. So here is the second way of doing it on the fly. If you can't find these little inserts or whatever, standard little stir straw. I'm going to poke it right here in the middle. I'm going to run it right down just like I did with that insert. I'm going to run it right down the middle and come out right there. Now here's that part again. Oh, I don't know why I like doing that, but anyways, whatever. So there it is. Now what I'm going to do is I've rigged it just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to cut this off right here and right there okay so now I've cut that off okay check that out guys okay now I am going to run this right down the front so I'm gonna run it right through there I'm gonna pull that through just like that done deal there so now this is when you got to make the decision on how much weight you're gonna put on this so I'm gonna tie the the hook on, same deal, Palomar knot. Okay, there we go. Now this is completely weightless. The only weight in this setup is basically the hook itself, which if you want that to ride right on the surface, then you can run it with no weight in there. This one's a little bent. It's a little bent. I needed to straighten this up just a hair. I don't really quite like it bent. There we go, I straightened it just a little bit. That's better. Okay, I had to pull that, that straw out. Now I can run it like this and it most likely will run basically right on the surface. So if you wanted a wake bait, it'd be really good. If you want to add a little weight to that, that's where you're going to get a little creative. Take a little lead insert like this. You can add it to the, to the nose of the bait. You can add it to the back of the bait, or you can add it right here in the middle of the bait and snip it off. You know, you can kind of play around with it. You can even take, if you want, and it, it, it does hinder the sliding action just a little bit, but you still get the treble hook advantage. You can put a bobber stop on there like you see me do a lot of times and put a little 1 16th bullet weight on the front or something real lightweight on the front of this. And it will still, you know, when you get a big fish on, it's still going to pull that bobber stop up and, uh, and you'll be good to go. So guys, tr give this a try and, and you'll be surprised, A, at how it looks so cool in the water, B, when they fish bite it, how you just don't lose them. And that's real important. And it's good stuff. And you can do that on, you know, again, on even this style swim bait. This is one of Matt Aries' little swim baits here, Lunker Hunt. It's a great bait in the spring. I mean, Matt Aries won a couple tournaments with this bait in the spring on, on fish that are getting ready to spawn or spawning. And uh, do the same thing here. I've got it rigged up with the, the brass insert 
and you can put the treble hook on it. Again, it just kind of gives you one more variation. Now, let me, let me also say this real quick, just as a, another, little, another little nugget for you. So here is your standard rig, like I do here at Okeechobee, where I put this on a swim bait hook, with a little spring, spring on it, and you rig it up just like this here, okay? A lot of times when I'm around a lot of cover, that's how I'm rigging it up. Caught a lot of big fish. Matter of fact, I caught a nine pounder on Lake Okeechobee not too long ago on this bait on Okeechobee with Rob. And so pretty cool stuff. But you can also add, if you get in those situations where you're getting those fish to short strike your bait, you can add a treble hook onto the shank of, of this swim bait hook and get one of the spinner bait little keepers. Like you would put a spinner bait trailer on your spinner bait, that little piece of uh, plastic or rubber, put it on the end of this treble hook and attach that to the bottom. So basically you got the treble hook hanging in the belly of this swim bait hook right here. So that's another quick and easy way of attaching a treble hook. Now, you're not gonna get the slide effect, obviously, and so you are gonna lose a few more fish, but I'm telling you guys, with the slide effect, it's pretty sweet. Now, one more swim bait, one more swim bait, this hollow belly right here. I'm gonna show you how I like to rig this thing up as well with the straw, and I'll give you a quick little tip on how to add weight to this hollow belly. It's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna give you a quick and little easy way of doing this. Same kind of thing here, guys, you're gonna take a straw, Here's a piece of a straw. I'm gonna push it right in the head of this hollow belly and push it right through the center. Let me get right here, about, about right there is where I like to come out. I'm gonna come out just like that, okay? Make sure everything's good and straight. And the reason you do this, you know, like a lot of you are thinking, well, why don't I just stick, somehow fish my line through there, you know, or get a coat, a little safety pin or something and stick it up in there and pull my line through. Well, when you pull the line through, when you hook a fish, it's gonna rip the plastic here and destroy your swim bait in a matter of a few seconds. So running the straw through it like this or running that line through weight keeps everything good. Look at that guys. That looks pretty cool, huh? Perfect little, you can see it right through the middle, that black straw right through the middle. Again, I'm gonna run that line through. Pops right out the bottom. I'm gonna tie my treble hook on. Okay. Now, look at that. Now with these hollow bellies, a couple things you can do, a couple options, and you can do the same thing with the, with the Saucy Swimmer as well. So one is I'm gonna attach a bullet weight to the front with a bobber stop. It's not gonna have as much sliding action, or I'm gonna attach a small weight, tungsten, like a 1 16th tungsten right here with a bobber stop, right here above the treble hook, and then you'll get your swing action. But then you're putting your weight kind of dead center here, so it may make, you might have to play around where you put the weight on this bait because this tail is so overpowering that sometimes this bait has a hard time running straight. But what I what I do a lot of times is I'll take a, just a regular bullet weight. It's a tungsten, I think that's about a quarter ounce bullet weight. And what I'm gonna do, which is kinda cool, instead of using the little lead push throughs, the hollow bellies obviously are hollow. Get that a little wet right there. Push that right in the back of the tail. And push it on through where you're pushing that weight all up inside the hollow belly. So that quarter ounce weight, and it's pretty snug in there. You know, it'll kind of stay where you want it to stay. So you can play around with it, like right there, it's dead center of the bait, and play around with it, see how it runs. You know, if it runs really, really good right there, then good. And then if not, push it up a little farther, up towards the head. Now you've got all the weight towards the head. And uh, you'll find the sweet spot, but basically taking that quarter ounce, that weight, sticking it in there, boom, it's good to go. So guys, that's how you make little line through modifications on your swim baits. It's pretty cool, you're gonna catch a lot of extra fish. But before we go, I've got some underwater footage for you, so check this out. All right, the hollow belly swim bait, it looks juicy in the water. You can look at it swimming there. It's got a nice wobble, nice little tight action. It comes through the water really, really good. And again, you can see where that hook is placed on the bottom of this thing. And those fish, when they come up to it, they grab it, pull that down, game over, fish is hooked, and that's a good thing. So that's the hollow belly. I like that a lot. Now you're looking at the saucy swimmer in the water. Saucy swimmer. You're going to get a little bit more action, a little bit more consistent action out of the Saucy Swimmer because of the ribs on the bait. Kind of allows that bait to stay a little more true. But the same thing, look at the action. Look at how that bait wobbles in the water. It looks so good coming through. And again, those fish that are on the beds 
as they see that coming across their beds, they come up and attack it. And you can really slow this thing down and make it really do a lot of action in a short amount of time. But again, play with the size of the hook, play with the size of the weight. All right, guys, that is officially it. Thanks for hanging out. Do me a huge favor. I should have said this at the beginning of the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button click the notification bell. Guys, I love you so much, appreciate it. And dry, drop me a comment below, let me know what other little hacks or little fishing tips you'd love for me to talk about. So guys, we're gearing up for the Bassmaster at Louisville Lake here real soon. I know it's been a weird little transition of downtime between the very first open and the second one, but we're about to gear up, we're about to hit it hard, we're gonna be on the road. So appreciate all the support, guys. Share it, like it, comment. We'll see ya. Bam!